Right, what is going on guys? I'm back with a video explaining 24mm wide-angle lenses. So then, on your really cheap cameras that you'd get for say 50 to 70 pounds, you'd get a very standard lens which is not wide-angle and it looks pretty shallow really. It doesn't have much depth and you have to... Well, you don't have enough space in the frame to get a good shot. So then, if you're willing to pay £100 to £250, you'll get a 24mm wide angle lens. And what this means is that you'll get a lot more in the shot, it'll be a lot deeper, and it will just look a lot nicer. So here we have two pictures, one taken on the left by the just standard Samsung ES55, and the one on the right taken by the Samsung ES65 with the 24mm wide angle lens. Now you can see that the one on the right is a lot deeper and a lot wider and has got a lot more in the frame and the one on the left is a lot tighter and can't get much depth and stuff into the frame um, the two pictures do actually look different in quality and colours and stuff that's just because of two different cameras, two different sensors and I can't get them the same but just forget about that now 24mm video is fantastic because you can see loads of detail close up. Now this is around 2-3cm to three centimeters away from the subject of the focus and it just looks fantastic, really sharp. Now do bear in mind this is 640x480 VGA video so the quality is lost there but the lens makes it fantastic. Now comparing it to the standard lens, you can see there's not as much depth. There is a bit of depth of field in the background, but I've had to go on away from the ES65 because the focusing on this lens cannot quite take such a distance from the subject of focus. So this is more like 7 centimeters away, and it obviously doesn't look like it in the video because of the lens on it. Another reason why the 24mm lens is great is because you get a lot of depth of field which is basically the subject focus here is perfectly in focus but the background is all blurred out and nicely shaped and soft. This has also got a special name called Bokeh. It's hard to pronounce, some people pronounce it differently and it basically means the same thing. So thank you very much for watching my video on the 24mm Samsung lens. Please be warned there are going to be loads more photography videos coming your way. It will be great fun. Make sure you stay tuned to look at all those. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.